So with this uh, attitude or atmosphere of care and gentleness, we can now enter into the formal technique of meditation. I will review the instructions and then we'll practice together for some time. <clears throat> so our orientation to practice is allowing ourselves to be as we are. And to be naturally, to be a human. <clears throat> and to be willing to feel our experience. <clears throat> so we have everything that we need to do that. <clears throat> and meditation is simply using what is present and relaxing and being with what is present. So we could say we have three main aspects of our experience here. We have our body, we have our speech or our breath, and we have our awareness and thoughts and emotions, our heart and our mind. So body, breath, and heart, or mind. And in short, in summary, very simply, we will like to arrange and allow our body, our breath, and our heart, or mind, to just be. So the specific posture of meditation is designed or intended to be a way to allow our body to relax. Using the skeletal structure and the geometry of the human body to rest in a way that requires the smallest amount of muscles and tension to be involved. Working with the body and the posture is a path. It actually takes some time, sometimes years, to discover a place of balance where the bones and the skeleton can rest on themselves and, to, and let the muscles and the flesh relax around the bones. So the image is of a, a coat hanger <clears throat> that you would hang a coat on. <clears throat> So the hanger is the, are the bones, and then our skin and muscles and organs are like the coat draped around the hanger. It often doesn't feel like that. So actually, as we sit, it's fine to make small adjustments and try to discover that place of balance and ease with a posture. <clears throat> if you're sitting on cushions, the legs are crossed loosely in front. This is called a gomden. Gomden. 
which is a Tibetan word that is very complicated. It means meditation seat. <laughs> and it was designed by uh, Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche because sitting on this, um, you don't need as much flexibility in your hips. And in our cultures, we tend to sit on chairs rather than cushions. <clears throat> so we, our hips are often not that flexible. And that, this can help with that, this gomden. The other kind of cushion is called a zafu, round one. And I don't know what that means in Japanese. It probably means meditation cushion. <laughs> I mean, yeah, za means sit. Fu, I don't know. Anyone know Japanese? Futon, yeah, cushion. There we go, sitting mattress. Za is sit, so same thing. <laughs> same thing. Thank you. Domaragato gozaimashita. So, we root our gravity and, and the weight of our body by placing our sit bones on the cushion, the gomden or the zafu, or if you're sitting on a chair, in the seat of the chair. And the sit bones are the two knobs in our rear end. There are two bones, and those, they can be like plugs, like sockets that you plug into the cushion, into the earth. So most of the weight should be through the seat. And then the legs are more relaxed, they're loosely crossed in front. Or if you're sitting on a chair, you're resting your feet flat on the ground. And if you're sitting on a chair, try, if, if you can, if you don't have an injury that makes this difficult, if you can, sit up so you're not resting back against the chair, but you're supporting yourself with your own spine. If you have an injury or, or any other reason you need to lean back, that's fine. The legs can be crossed uh, loosely in front with the knees either touching the ground or raised from the ground. But if the knees are raised up from the ground, make sure they're not higher than your hips. If your knees are higher than your hips, it can, be, it can cause a lot of pain in your legs and lower back. If your knees are higher than your hips, what we recommend is you add an additional cushion. And as we go along, we'll, we can we'll do some uh, posture adjust, adjustment. So the, through the legs and your, your seat and your bum, you have a connection with earth. It's grounded. And then out of this foundation, the spine raises naturally. And we have a very uplifted and dignified spine. The spine is, is straight in the sense that it's, we're not intentionally hunched over. However, there's a natural curve to the spine. So the spine, if you look at the vertebrae, it curves. And we're, we're not trying to straighten that. We're allowing there to be this curve in the spine. The spine and the vertebrae go all the way up to here. And the head, the skull, rests on top of the vertebrae. So to help feel the extension of the vertebrae all the way up, we, there's a slight tuck in our chin, just a little bit. So from our foundation on the, in the cushion all the way up to this skull, the vertebrae, the spine is relaxed. 
And it's like, they say, like gold coins stacked one on top of the other, each vertebrae. So try that. The hands and the arms are resting on the knees or the thighs, depending on how you're sitting. It's also fine, by the way, to sit with, uh, on your knees and have your feet pointing back. That's fine as well. The, so the hands are, if you want to find a good place to place your hands, just let your arms drop down by the sides of your cushion or your chair, and then lift them up and let them float down naturally. And wherever they land, that tends to be a good place. If our hands are too far forward, we hunch forward. If they're too far back, we pinch our shoulders. So find a natural, relaxed place with the hands. The tongue is resting on the roof or the palate of the mouth behind the upper row of front teeth. The lips are slightly open. The jaw is relaxed and there's a part, an opening in the lips. We hold a lot of tension in our jaw. So let's all just reach up and take three fingers and just massage the jaw a little. And just allow the jaw to be soft and the slight part in the lips. And as we spoke about last night, our view is not that we're withdrawing from the world, but we're opening. So similarly, with our practice, our eyes are open. We practice with the gaze open but soft so the eyes could be looking down somewhere that's relaxed in front of you. It doesn't really matter where. And then we just soften the eyes. We don't have to look at a specific point. Just relax our visual horizon. So see if you can allow your body to just rest in this natural way. You might try kind of move, shifting a little bit forward or a little back and just find a, a place of balance. So within this relaxed and natural posture, we're both uh, relaxed and dignified at the same time. You say it's like taking a queen's seat or the king's seat. So there's actually energy and a certain amount of confidence. The heart and the stomach are soft and open. 
um, a bit vulnerable even. To really relax your abdomen, let your belly hang out. Relax your organs. Relax your lungs. Relax your heart. And now with the body in this relaxed posture, begin to feel the breath. So just notice the body breathing. Feel the body breathing. In our practice, the breath is our anchor to the present. There's a fluid, natural flow of the breath as it moves in and out of the body. And we're resting our awareness within this flow of the breath. We're feeling the body and we're feeling the breathing. <coughs> the breath comes in and fills the body with air. And then the breath dissolves out, and we can follow the flow of breath as it dissolves out into the space around us. So this is working with our body, naturalness of body, and the breath, naturalness of breath. And there's a quality of care and gentle awareness of everything that's arising in the present. If we notice our mind has wandered into many thoughts, images and has left the body and the breath, very gently we invite our awareness back to feeling the breath. And this is our way to continually return to a sense of gentle care for the present experience. Thoughts are not a problem. We simply notice that there is thinking, and then we come back to feeling the breath. Come back to the body. Come back to abiding with a sense of gentle awareness and care. and meditate from your heart, not only from the mind. When we join together naturalness of body, naturalness of breath, and naturalness of heart, we simply let ourselves be as a human being on this good earth.
So I'd like to now ask the Rhoda participants who have uh, prep, lunch prep, to please leave. Thank you for helping us and serving us in this way. Everyone else, please remain. So please allow yourself to relax with gentleness during this period of meditation. <clears throat> 